afternoon. How are you today? This is Iko Sisi from the African Press Club live in Barcelona. Welcome back. I am sitting at the beach as you can see behind me. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you around in a little bit. But it's been wonderful to leave the house and come out to the beach and the reason why I'm able to do so is that we have entered what we call phase one of the relaxation of restriction of movement in Barcelona and Spain in general although different regions move into different phases depending on how good they're doing so there are four phases it starts from phase zero and, and goes to phase four so five phase zero um, was supposed to be the preparatory stage where they make sure they have enough testing kits they have enough uh, medical staff to take care of people in case of emergencies in case there is a second wave of infections and then in the phase one we are allowed to uh, go out take walks come to the beach but you cannot swim you cannot swim you can only walk around the beach sit down eat something generally chat with your families while still social distancing the second thing is that the restaurants are now open they have terraces their terraces are open so you can go to the restaurant sit down eat with your friends and family the third thing is that people can gather up to 10 in a group not more than 10 people in this phase um, there can be festivals as well or large gatherings I think not more than 30% uh, at this stage and then there will be phase 2 after 2 weeks and this goes on to phase 4 which will end about June 25th the lockdown in Spain has been extended 5 times from when it began in March so we have been in our home for more than 3 months there about it has been extended five times so they watch what is going on how are the infection rates falling or going up and then they take the next decision there are different regions in this country uh, different municipalities but they have a central government so the central government makes the decision and then passes it on to the regional governments yeah so it's it's wonderful to be out here it's so beautiful let me let me show you yeah so this beach is called Barceloneta it's one of the beaches that is closest to town this is downtown Barcelona um, that I'm in so it's very close to downtown Barcelona I walked from home to this place I think I must have spent like 30 minutes walking which was good I needed to soak myself in the Sun I don't know if you know but for African people it's more difficult to have enough vitamin D when you live abroad in cold, in cold countries where there are long spells of winter so you always have vitamin D deficiency so once the Sun comes out I, I run out I, I want to soak up as much as possible vitamin D is very um, essential for your bones and other parts of your body so that's why I'm, I'm out here sitting down what else um, the economy of Barcelona has been hit by what is going on in the world the health crisis you 
usually there are more than 80 million visitors to Barcelona in a year it is a tourist destination it is such a wonderful place because it has the mountain and the sea at the same time so if you're someone that likes to go into the woods do some exercise take long walks it's a great place you come and you do that if you love the beach lying out under the Sun swimming chilling out they have it as well so that's one of the reasons why so many visitors every year it depends highly on tourism for its economy one other attraction is food the food is excellent it's it's wonderful food it's not far from it's not too far from African food I mean um, if if you're an African you can you can eat Barcelona food and you feel like okay not too bad they have something similar to Nigerian jollof rice they call it paella it doesn't taste the same but it's made of rice a different kind of rice and cooked up with all sorts of things whether meat or fish or seafood so similar to that then culture it is rich in culture the Spaniards are very uh, protective of their culture Although people here call themselves Catalans, they say they are not Spanish, but we are in Spain. It's a very big issue. They have been trying to fight for independence from Spain. I don't know how far that will go, but it's a hot political topic around here. Another thing that draws people to Barcelona is the nightlife. It's crazy. <laughs> Barcelona nightlife is crazy there are so many bars restaurants clubs I mean whatever you want to do during vacation chilling out having fun you will get it in Barcelona the tons of visitors come here enjoy themselves and go up after that but since earlier this year, since in March when the lockdown started, thousands and thousands of flights were cancelled because of course the borders were closed. I was supposed to travel to London myself. I was supposed to travel to London and later Côte d'Ivoire. My flight was cancelled so I didn't go anywhere. So you can imagine, usually by this time of the year, whoo, you won't get a, a place to sit down here in normal circumstances this beach will be completely full of people full of both residents locals and visitors it's amazing it's so quiet <laughs> I've never seen this beach this way it's so quiet and nice and they also have night beaches not around here there's so many beaches so you can keep going on to other places there are places that you go to it's all night beach and it's wonderful I've been to one of those night beaches it is amazing if you've had a hard week and you just want to relax and enjoy yourself go to a night night beach in Barcelona one thing that I encountered the the first time that I came to Barcelona was the nude beach it's down there a couple of walks uh, minutes down that way they have a nude, a nude beach and I came to the beach with my friend from Kenya Angel shout out to Angel if she's watching this <laughs> she will remember our experience we were minding our business taking a walk with her sister her sister was visiting from London and then all of a sudden we began to notice naked people some lying down some standing or people seated in clusters talking and we were like wait a minute <laughs> what is going on <laughs> we kept on walking and there were more and more of them. I remember seeing a woman completely naked under the shower, the public shower, by the beach. 
washing herself and I was like my goodness <laughs> we were so embarrassed <laughs> I tell you the people that, that were naked were not we were more we were clothed and we were more embarrassed than <laughs> the naked people <laughs> I think one day I should do a video on the naked beach. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm having a lovely time here. Ooh, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm so delighted that I, I decided this afternoon to come down here. Ah, she's amazing. How are you? I hope you're good. Are the restrictions in your city? being relaxed as well I'm sure I think all over the world the same thing is going on um, take care of yourself please subscribe do not sub uh, forget to subscribe to my channel ring the bell so that you get um, information on latest videos and I hope to see you soon take care now thanks for watching bye bye, -bye.